brand new design, the front page cover story of this week's Business Courier, a fascinating profile of Bob Castellini. When Cincinnati financier and philanthropist Carl Lindner died in 2011, our community lost its go-to guy for getting things done in the city. Many thought the culture that Lindner embodied died with him. But there's a new king of the Queen City. Bob Castellini has become the galvanizing force for community action. Someone to push community leaders to aim higher and do more. As owner of the Reds, for example, he wanted an all-star game in Cincinnati. And he pursued it to the point that it is coming in 2015. Baseball Commissioner Bud Selig said it never would have happened without Castellini. Selig told Business Courier reporter Chris Wetterick he just kept yes. Chris joins us now along with Business Courier editor Rob Dahlmeyer to talk about why the Courier pursued this story even though publicity shy Castellini declined to be interviewed. Rob and Chris. Brian, thanks Chris. Thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for having me. When you and I talked about doing this story, really one of the reasons was because he doesn't talk much, uh, and because that was such a similar experience that uh, the city had with Carl Lindner. What were some of the things that you learned uh, when you were writing the story that, that you just didn't know? Well, I think the first thing I, I found surprising was uh, when I talked to, I mean, these are, the, these are kind of hard profiles to write when the actual subject of them don't right. want to talk to you, but, um, you know, I talked to a lot of his friends, a lot of people in the business community who have worked with him. And one of the most surprising things, I think, was that, that he and the investors uh, that bought the Reds almost didn't do it. Um, they were owners of the Cardinals, co-owners of the Cardinals, uh, actually minority owners of the Cardinals with uh, another Cincinnati businessman, Bill DeWitt, at the time. And Tom Williams, who uh, is, is one of the, the investors with Castellini, said, you know, we kind of thought we were fine at the time. We didn't, we, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't think we needed to get in there. And they saw Lindner, they actually saw Lindner at a baseball game in September of that year. I think it was 2005. And he said, hey, look, we don't, we don't have a deal yet. The Reds are available. You know, are you guys interested? So they went back and they, they talked about it some more. And, and they just, they changed their mind, basically. Castellini changed his mind. Yeah, dropping, you know, sort of getting out of the St. Louis Cardinals is not an easy decision to make. Right. I mean, it's, it's clearly the best franchise over the, over the history of the National League. Uh, yeah. and the Reds are clearly up there as well. What, um, I was also interested to know about some of his national political sort of uh, game changing. Um, and he actually has some dealings with Carl Rove as well. Right, I mean, and this kind of goes back to his ownership of the Cardinals. He owns the Card, he owned, he, Castellini co owned the Cardinals with uh, two guys named uh, Mercer Reynolds and Bill DeWitt, of course, um, and some other people, a guy named Dudley Taft from the Taft family. Um, and they all were, they worked with George W. Bush to buy the Rangers um, way back in the, uh, I think it was the, the early 90s, and uh, or maybe even before that, late 80s. And so that's kind of where they made their connection with the Republican Party. But Castellini has kind of, even though Bush is out of office now, uh, he stayed involved in Republican causes. And he, Karl Rove looked to him to, to raise money to defeat Sherrod Brown or to try to defeat yeah. him uh, in 2000 and, uh, 2012. Yeah, a lot of money. Three million, I think it was, that he, Three million uh, he dollars, said he was yeah. going to raise. Well, thanks, Chris. Thanks for being here. Uh, and Brian, we're, you, you're going to be able to read. This is a print product, which means you've got to be a subscriber. But uh, because of our redesign that we'll talk about, later uh, we're going to open this up so anybody can if you go to our site you can find out uh, how to read uh, Chris's phenomenal story on Castellini uh, whether you're a subscriber or not we want to bring in a lot more people into our tent and uh, see what you think